Baldur's Gate 3 has been nearly universally lauded in reviews with a stunning 96% overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam with over 500,000 reviews, putting it well into the top 10 all time on the platform just beneath games like Terraria, The Witcher 3, Stardew Valley, and Euro Truck Simulator 2. So basically everyone likes the game, right? Negative review. Can't kill innocent children. What the? What the f I guess some people are just a little hard to please or are terrifying and horrifying and I'm worried about them and everyone around them. But surely no one still dislikes Baldur's Gate 3 at this point, right? Because, I mean, I know I did a video like this on, on pre-release reviews, early access reviews, uh, you know, basically going into a lot of stuff, which a lot of this stuff, a lot of the reviews were valid at that time. But we've, we've had, like, since then, we've had, like, six major patches. We've had so many freaking hot fixes, and they keep working towards making the game one of the most amazing games ever. And they did this after winning award after award and selling millions upon millions of copies. They've even become the darling of gamers everywhere, whether people like Baldur's Gate 3 or not, because they have been so outspoken against, you know, supporting investors and microtransactions and things like that. And they've been very, very supportive of the gaming industry in general, the developers amid mass layoffs that have hurt so many. I really love this game, but as long as Lyrian keeps treating it as some early access title, I can't recommend it. For some reason, the last three to four patches keeps changing working parts of the games and introducing new bugs it's not okay that the game was in a more polished state four months ago than it is now. Once they start focusing on actually fixing their bugs, I will change my review. <sighs> people are, um, people are mad that uh, Larian keeps updating the game. I, I get I get frustration with bugs and they've definitely like they definitely each patch has has brought in some new bugs. It's fixed some old bugs and then they have hot fixes in between trying to fix the bugs, both the old bugs and the new bugs. I, I guess you know, because of my background playing a ton of MMORPGs, like growing up with MMORPGs where that is the norm. I w I'm confused by the anger like that's just kind of normal. I, I don't know. And with a game as large as BG3, there's just going to be bugs. It, it, it's I mean, I personally I haven't actually had that many bugs. So that's possibly part of why this is so weird to me, because I just haven't run into many and I've put in like almost 300 hours at this point. So I'm really I don't know. It's just confusing. I'm sorry if you're dealing with bugs, but Damn. <laughs> and you know what? I'm this it sounds like this reviewer just kind of wants this game to be perfect and like and and then just leave it and don't touch it anymore. And and you know, but that that's kind of an unob unobtainable state. Perfection is unobtainable. So I'm sure the next review is going to be much much more grounded. Wish they had better looking char to romance. In fact, I bet there is a reason why they don't. What? Uh <laughs> Um you have so many choices you, like you have you have emo goth shart you have literally hot carlac you have hold me in your strong arms halson you have problematic boyfriend asterian and so many more fantastic options but that's not the most concerning part of this thing what what is what does this part mean in fact i bet there is a reason why they don't what what reason what what I, mean, I don't understand the end of this review. I, I, I don't. Very buggy. The storyline was not very entertaining. Also, surprisingly woke. <laughs> so uh, before before we get into that, I need to, uh, you know, I, I need to take a sec to to take a breath and, and I'll show you something because uh, my wife, my wife made this for me. It's it's a friendship bracelet that says Baldur's Gate on it. She's never actually played the game. 
She just made this for me because she's kind of amazing. She looked at the cover art for Baldur's Gate 3 and was like, okay, this works. All of this was designed by her. And, you know, that's she's just kind of an awesome and amazing person. Now that we've said that, um, the fuck? The fuck does that? Give me a description, reviewer. The fuck does woke mean? Give me a description. What is it you're upset about? Tell me. I can make some assumptions. I can make some guesses. I could assume a couple different things from this comment. I don't know if they're good things to assume, though. And it's not just you, either. There was lots of other comments like this. Tons of them, actually. Developers went super woke. Disgusting shit. And there were lots of these reviews in Early Access as well. They've always been there. And so, I, without an explanation, I kind of have to go with an assumption. Are you, are you upset? that there are so many strong female characters that would absolutely pass the Bechdel test. Are you mad that there's diversity? Are you upset with the representations of deep trauma in the game? Or is it because someone of the same gender may have taken interest in you? Or is it something else? Is it perhaps just the emotional intelligence that is shown in the writing throughout the game? How it takes time to earn the trust of your companions and, and learn about them before they open up a little bit? Because all of those reasons to me are what enhance the game. It is a it it shows a bit of the beautiful tapestry of our world, which is defined by so many varied experiences, so many different lives that every time I have met anyone who has lived something that's not as plain as my own life, I have been enhanced by learning who they are and what they like and and so much about them. So what is it that you're upset about, reviewer? You know, this wasn't how I planned to go about this video. Uh, and I considered in not including these reviews at all. But it is a lot of the reviews that are in the negative part of this, so I felt like excluding them would be disingenuous. There are more hateful ones that I didn't want to platform. It's just frustrating. So frustrating. And so I want to say this here for anyone watching. The gaming is for fucking everyone. Everyone. If you are watching this and you feel marginalized or unseen, I want you to know that you are welcome here. You are welcome in this space. For who you are. And you should be appreciated for that. You are deserving of love. You are deserving of happiness. You know, before we switch over to like the more amusing uh, reviews to end the video, I want to bring back Neil Newbin's speech from the Game Awards because I think it is an important part of this. To my agents, I will thank you later. I'm sorry, I'm gonna wrap it up apparently. One thing I will say, please, if that's okay, the community has reached out to so many of us at Larian and said they were seen and they were represented by this game when they lost hope, they felt isolated, they felt alone, and this game brought them together and gave them something to push through to help them all. And to you, I want to say thank you so much for seeing us. I appreciate it. You're not alone in this. None of us are. Thank you. You are, <laughs> you are welcome in gaming and you are appreciated. So thank you for being here. Now let's to get let's let's get some, some laughs or something because yeah i spent 42 hours in this game in order to get to the point where i could get laid by every member of my party i feel that this is an unrealistic commitment to a waifu affair in the modern age and is a gross negligence on the part of the developers i fear fundamentally on my second date i have questions uh, so many questions. First, how did you subvert the game's mechanics that are mostly monogamous in the game and that lock your, your romance after Act 2? Uh, how, did, how did you do that? I mean, there are a couple, there's a, there's a, a few exceptions. It's a very small few exceptions. But how, how did you do that? Um, I know there's a couple mods for it, but uh, did you download those? And question two, and this one may actually be a bit more important to ask, but why? Why why did you spend um, 42 hours trying to do something that would make you mad? Like, you could have done anything else with those 42 hours. You could have read a book. You could have 
watched the movie, a TV series. A Shogun is really good. It's a fantastic series so far. Um, so why? You could have gone for a walk. Walks are good. They're very healthy for you. Um, I'm about to go for one after this video. You could have gone on 42 walks for an hour. So why? <laughs> One wrong decision equals reset whole playthrough, man. What the fuck? How many of you want to bet that this particular review, uh, they probably made a certain character um, explode and they're upset <laughs> that that actually, that they won the game in that way. <laughs> the only accurate way to describe this piece is to say it's Dark Souls 2 if Dark Souls 2 deserved all the hate it got. I cannot convey how big a pile of shit this game is in any other way. You could, you you really, you really could. You could give some details about what exactly you mean, because I have no idea what you're referring to here at all, um, because I don't see how it's connected. But so you, you could um, explain what you mean. That would be a way. It truly is remarkable that this won Game of the Year or earned such renown with all these shortcomings and disappointing or frustrating design decisions. Okay, I mean, I, I, I strongly disagree with, with this here. I, I get it, but I'm sure you're about to go out, like lay out what are those shortcomings? What are the things that you find are, are at issue with this game? And, you know, tell us what, like in a constructive way, what is it that you think like basically could have been done better to make this game better? Or, or to, to tell people what kind of what they should be aware of it before going into the game, you know, kind of the purpose of a review. If you like Baldur's Gate 3, you're possibly a below average human. Sorry you had to find out this way. Oh no, we're just gonna be a dick. Cool, got it. The reviews I picked are obviously mostly for comedic effect with, of course, a glaring exception. And there are also very valid and negative reviews. Plenty of reviews mention bugs, of course, and then plenty of other reviews mention things like struggles with turn-based combat, not really enjoying it, or or just like the difference in quality when it comes to companion storylines and how some, some companions have really big fleshed out storylines and others are not quite as fleshed out. There's other, like there's, there are plenty of things to point to that are legitimately negative. And I, for example, who absolutely adore this game and recently decided that this is my greatest game of all time, supplanting Dragon Age Origins of all games. I like I struggle like there's a couple things I struggle with, like, for example, like a big example here is when you win a check like a, a deception check or intimidation check, just how quickly the, the dialogue changes. Like they're they're adamant about one thing and then they're not adamant. And I get that works in the D&D context but it is still just a minor gripe. There's also complaints about like some people don't like having to F5 all the damn time. And I just realized that I wore this shirt in the last video like this, but that's that's also like, it's a thing. I get it. Some people would have preferred more auto saves. I'm assuming that they didn't include that because of how they handled saves and how that's caused some issues. And there are people that have had like game breaking bugs, things that have absolutely ruined the game. In some ways, I feel like I've been lucky because when I played the game from start to finish, I haven't, I didn't really have any issues. And I, I finished it for the first time all the way back in, in the launch month when it, when it first launched. And like the only, the only bug that I remember being like pretty bad was being unable to complete a quest that has to do with toys. If you know the quest uh, you do in act three, it just it wouldn't update and that was a, that was an issue that I had but other than that everything seemed to kind of work there's been like some minor stuff like you know like sometimes a cutscene may have a character that's not like working appropriately or something like that or or commentary that kind of gets jumbled at times but for the most part it's been bug free and that's bug free in hundreds of hours at this point but other people have had very different experiences and that sucks and if that was you and like, I know that there was the Xbox save issue, which sucked. And I'm so sorry. There's been people that have lost saves and that really sucks. There's so many valid reasons to leave a negative review. These ones are just not it. <laughs> but in the end, this is really just a video to make you laugh a little bit and have some entertainment. And you know, I could be accused of being way too positive about this game, but I think that some of these people in this video are a bit more positive than I am to maybe to a point of oversharing just a little too much. My name is Edward Flynn. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And just one more time for those in the back, you are welcome here, and you are deserving of dignity and respect. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day.